The topic we'll be treating today is communication system, under which we'll be talking about ICT, which is information and communication technology. Some also refer to it as information communication technology. It is still the same thing. What is ICT? Information and communication technology is defined as the acquisition, processing, storage, and dissemination of vocal, pictorial, textual, and numeric information by electronic means. And we have five types of high city. We have broadcasting, telecommunication, data networks, information system, and uh, satellite communication. What do we mean by broadcasting? Broadcasting is often described as the distribution of audio and video content to a dispersed audience through any audiovisual medium. And we have four types of broadcasting. We have the radio broadcasting, we have television broadcasting, satellite television system, and the telephone broadcasting. Now talk of radio broadcasting. It is a one-way wireless transmission of radio waves that is intended to reach a wide audience. And audio broadcasting can also be done through cable radio, satellite radio, and the internal radio. And the next type under the broadcasting is the television broadcasting. This is an audiovisual broadcasting service that broadcast voice information with pictures and text to the people. That is, whatever is being brought, it, that is being shown, you will see pictures, you will see text. And we also call it telecast. But there are certain problems that are encountered when we are using television broadcasting. Number one problem is that the radio signals used by broadcast television shoot out from the broadcast antenna in a straight line. So, in order to receive these signals, you have to be in the direct line of sight of the antenna. Small obstacles like trees or small buildings, they are not really a problem, but a big obstacle such as the head itself will reflect these radio waves. So, it will break the signal line of sight. So if the heads were flat, you could pick up broadcast TV thousands of miles from your house. But because the head is planet is curved, because it is spher spherical in shape, so it eventually breaks the signal's line of sight. That is number one problem. The second problem is that the signal is often distorted, even in the viewing area. So to get a perfectly clear signal, like you find on cable TV that we use in most houses today, you have to be close to the broadcast antenna without too many obstacles in the way. That is why when you see before when we normally use antenna to receive all these stations like AIT, OGTV, uh BCOS and all that, you will discover that some will be in Lagos. They will not be able to receive channels like OGTV because of the distance. Some will be in Abelkuta. They will not be able to receive channels. They will not be able to see channels like BCOS because of the distance, because of the spherical shape of the head. It is it's, it's curved. So that is the second problem. Now, the third type of the broadcasting is the satellite television system, which is a direct-to-home broadcasting programming. So, it provides a mix of traditional radio or television broadcast programming with satellite-dedicated programming. What we are saying is that it makes the traditional radio or television broadcasting programming with satellite-dedicated programming. And it transmits and receives radio signals using specialized antennas called satellite dishes. 
the one we normally put outside our house. So for all this to be done, to be carried out, certain things has to be put in place, which we refer to as the components of satellite television system. So number one is the programming source. Number two is the broadcast center. Number three is the satellite. Number four is the satellite dish. Number five is the receiver. Now we we'll pick it one by one. When we talk of the programming source, they are simply programming sources. They are simply the channels that provide programming for broadcast. Example is, examples are CNN, we have Channel O, we have African Magic. African Magic is not owned by DSTV. They are programming source. So now DSTV as a provider does not create original programming itself. It pays other companies like all the CNN, African Magic, Channel O, and all that for the right to broadcast their content through satellite. So in this way, the provider is a kind of a, a broker between you and the actual programming sources. So the next one is the broadcast center. The broadcast center is the central hub of the system. So the broadcast center, for example, the TV provider, DSTV, will receive signals from the various programming sources and send it send the broadcast signal to satellite to satellite and the next one is the satellite so the satellite now will receive the signals from the broadcast center the broadcast station and rebroadcast them to it so when this is done it has to be received by something in the head before we can make use of it, before it can be useful in our various homes. And that is what we call satellite dish, which is the number four component. So the satellite dish picks up the signal from the satellite and passes it onto the receiver in the viewer's home. And that receiver in our home now is the last component there, which we also refer to as decoder. The decoder we place on our table is the last thing there, which is the receiver. So the receiver processes the signal and passes it onto a standard television. So those are the five components of satellite television system. Now, remember I said we have five types of ICT. That we have the broadcasting, we have telecommunication, we have data networks, information system, and the satellite communication. We've been able to discuss the broadcasting. So the next one now is the telecommunication. What do we refer to as telecommunication? Telecommunication is the transmission of information at a long distance through the electronic system. For example, telephone, telefax, and telegram. So it's trans it is used to transmit, it is the transmission of information at a long distance. From the word telecommunication, tele there means distance, long distance. So at a long distance through the electronic system. And we have three units of telecommunication as well for it to be carried out. We have the transmitter, a transmitter that takes information and converts it to a signal. We have a transmission medium. The transmission medium is also called physical channel. So it carries the signal. The transmission medium carries the signal. And after this is done, there will be a receiver, which is the third unit there that takes the signal from the transmission medium and converts it back into usable form. And when we talk of telecommunication, 
that the communication over telephone lines is called point-to-point -point communication because it is between one transmitter and one receiver. We also have telecommunication through radio broadcast, which is called broadcast communication because it is between one transmitter and numerous radio receivers. Now, we have types of telecommunication. We have the public switched telephone network, PSTN. We have mobile phone system that we normally refer to as GSM. We have circuit switched packet telephone system. There is satellite telephone system. There is fixed wireless telephone system. Now, we pick this one by one. The public switched telephone network is the network of the public telephone system that includes fixed line telephone and mobile phone. So it is made up of telephone lines, made up of fiber optic cables, microwave transmission links, cellular networks, communication, satellites, and as well as undersea telephone cables. So all these are connected, they are put together at switching center to allow any telephone in the world to communicate with each other. And the second type is the mobile telephone system that we refer to as the GSM. And the GSM is the Global System for Mobile Communication, which is a digital mobile tele telephone system that is widely used in many parts of the world. And the top type of the telecommunication is circuit switched packet telephone system. So a circuit switching network establishes a channel. It establishes a circuit, a channel between a sender and the receiver before they can communicate as if the sender and the receiver were physically connected with an electric circuit. So if communication is taking place in a dedicated channel, the channel remains unavailable to the other users. To the other users. So the fourth type now is the satellite telephone system. The satellite telephone system is a mobile telephone that connects to orbit satellites instead of using terrestrial cell sites. And we also refer to as the satellite telephone as satellite phone or sat phone. So the satellite telephone provides similar functions to terrestrial mobile phones such as short messaging service, SMS, internet access as, and as well as voice information. So the last type here is the fixed wireless telephone system, which is a type of phone system that makes use of wireless devices or system to link up to locations with a radio or other wireless link. An example is the laser bridge. So, the assignments I want to give you now. And before the assignments, remember I said we have five types of ICT, that we have the broadcasting, we have telecommunication, we have data networks, we have information system, and we have satellite communication. We've been able to talk about broadcasting, and we said broadcasting has four types, radio broadcasting, television broadcasting, satellite television system, and the telephone broadcasting. And on that radio broadcasting, we talked about the problem that because of the shape of the head, because the head is spherical, it's curved in shape, it often breaks the signal line of sight. And we talked about the satellite television system and their components. We said we have five types of satellite television system, programming sources, the broadcast center, the satellite, the satellite dish, 
and the receiver. And we were able to also, we also talked about telecommunication. We talked about the units. We said we have three units of telecommunication, a transmitter, a transmission medium, and a receiver. And we also talked about the types of telecommunication, of telecommunication. So now, in our next class, we will talk about the remaining three types of ICT. So before then, I want you to find out, to do this assignment, write it down somewhere and do it, do it and submit it to the appropriate location. So telecommunication that is designed to allow multiple receivers to share and cooperate to cooperate and to share the same physical channel are called dash. What are they called? I'll come again. I said, what do we call telecommunication that is designed to allow multiple receivers to cooperate and share the same physical channel? What are they called? So do it and send the answer to the appropriate location.